Hey Spartans, welcome back to another episode where today we are going to open up this brand new two-pack of Halo figures exclusive from the Jazzwares Vault. Let's go ahead and dive in. This two-pack is new and exclusive only to the Jazzwares Vault. I'm going to put a link down below. Get them before they run out. These are limited and this is a two-pack that features Noble Six from the Noble Team from Halo Reach and an Elite Zealot, which is something he battled numerous times in the game. And this was something we saw a while ago at a toy show where they revealed that these figures were coming out in an exclusive two-pack. But we didn't know how they were going to be released until recently when they started announcing the Jazzwares Vault exclusives. So really cool packaging. These look amazing. They come with two base plates back there for them to stand on, which I'm so glad. I love the base plates. And to get Noble Six at this scale is great because I've been collecting the entire Noble team in the Spartan series, which is the, the deluxe figure, six and a half, seven inch figures. But I am really happy to get him because I'm hoping this means we'll get a box set maybe of the other five members of the team, which would be awesome. So let's open them up and check out the detail on these two great looking figures. So I did want to preserve the box the best I could because it is a very nice looking box. So we got that back there and then we got the figures here, which are very detailed. They look amazing. Awesome. Great articulation, always in the shoulders in the elbows. The wrists will turn and pivot. Um, you got a neck joint, head joint to move around. Really cool. The mandibles don't close or anything. That would have been, oh, actually, there's a little movement in there. Not too much, but a little bit. But then obviously upper thigh, you got the knee bend, and you got a foot pivot so you can move the feet and position them. He is really cool. He's a hefty figure. No loose joints on him. A little bit in the waist. Actually, that's a loose waist there, but it's still very sturdy. So I got to say, I'm not too worried about him standing up for long periods of time. Um, he is really good looking, this Elite Zealot. He is so awesome looking. And he's got this concussion cannon thing from Halo Reach, which is really nice looking. The detail on it's fantastic. And he's got a unique hand, so holding stuff is going to take a little bit of movement because you have to get the thumb in there. But once you do, boom, he is holding that thing. And he, these guys are a pain when you see them sometimes, especially when you play them on Legendary and stuff. So really cool looking, and we're going to put him on his base plate so that he can stand up. Um, and I imagine he can without it because obviously he's a, a hefty figure, but he does look cool with it. So let's have him there, and we'll have him in the background so we can check out Noble Six here. I will say be careful. I just tried to reposition him, and this leg did snap off, but it popped right back in, luckily. Um, so there's a joint there that isn't a bend, um, or if it, it is a bend, but it's just having trouble bending. So I might have to put him in some hot water just to loosen that one joint up. But it looks like it's only the joint in this leg here on the left leg. So that's fine, but we'll, uh, not a big deal. Something that's easy to take care of. Just put him in some warm water for a while. But then we have Noble Six here with his knife which is not detachable, so keep that in mind. That does not come off. Uh, but no loose joints, although the waist a little bit loose. But again, the rest of him is so sturdy, I'm not even worried about that even slightly. He is a cool-looking figure, too. The detail on him is really nice. They did a great job on the paint there. Making a figure who's mostly gray and black look cool and intimidating is uh, not always easy, you know, because you're like, oh, I feel like there's some detail they could have put more in. But they did. There's these little like light blue lights from his armor that are on there. And I think overall they did a really good job with him. And they give him the rifle here. So we're going to pop that in his hand. And again, pretty standard pose for this figure with the gun like that. I like doing that when I have the characters with the assault rifles. But uh, I was noticing a joint. That's why I pulled him off camera for a second. But it looks like it's going to be fine. There's, uh, I thought there was some stiffness there, but everything's looking pretty good. His ankles move really well. And yeah, he's really solid. He kind of reminds me of that ODST figure from the previous wave that was really, really good and solid. So I'm going to put him on his base here, but all of his joints worked. He's got the shoulder elbow joints, you know, as everything else does and the knee bends and everything. So yeah, really, really cool. Came out really great. And these base plates are different. I don't have any other base plates that match this color. It's terrain from the Reach game. So another cool little detail. And the fact that they put these two characters in a two-pack and only made them like 30 bucks for both of them. I mean, yeah, that's $15 a figure, essentially. 
but I'm okay with that. That's not bad. We had the Master Chief figure from Halo 4 that was $20, and he was by himself. So for 10 extra bucks and get another figure, these are really good. And we have one more two-pack we're going to open in the next video that was originally in Series 6, but no one found them, or very few people in the world found them, and, you know, but based on distribution and other issues that I guess Jazzwares had. So they put them up on their website. It's Tartarus and a Prophet, although they did change the name of which Prophet it is. So we're going to open that in the next video. But for now, I just wanted to open these and give you a quick, you know, look at them. Um, I'm not as detailed maybe as some toy reviewers because I'm not really reviewing them. I really just want to open them so I can put them on my shelf and join the others, but also give you a, a good look at them. And I got to say the detail on these guys, front and back, are good for the price especially. Like I said, 30 bucks for two of these guys is awesome. And I can't wait to add hopefully more Reach characters and heroes and villains to our line of Halo World of Halo figures from Jazzware. So that's my thoughts on these. Let me know yours down below and we'll keep talking down there. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.